I'll just click on formulas. So if you click on formulas, yeah, if I click on formulas, you see all these different functions, yeah. So there are so many functions. You don't need to know everything. The thing is Excel is built for everybody, but you need to familiarize yourself with the functions that you need for your role, for your job. And let me help you out with that. Let's assume you want to do something in Excel, anything in Excel. What you need to do is break down what you want to do in a very short sentence. Let's say, for example, oh, I want to know how, um, uh, I want to, I want to, uh, I'm looking for something, I'm, I'm searching for something, right? I'm searching for something in a, in a table or I'm searching for something, maybe I'm searching for sheet in here. I'm, I want to know, would somebody spell sheet? So I need to search or find sheet inside this cell. I need a formula that can do that. So if you look at what I said, I said I need to search or I need to find, I need to get sheet. I want to find out whether the, someone spells sheet into, inside this uh, cell. So ask yourself, what's the keyword in that sentence? I am searching for the word sheet. I am searching for the word sheet. So the keyword there is search. And usually it's a verb. So once you know what you want to do, most of the time, a keyword or a synonym of that keyword is a function. So if I go equals to search, you will see that search is a function. And then you can read and say, hey, what does this do? Or if I say equals to find, find is also a function, right? But they do different things. So find is case sensitive. For example, search is not case sensitive. So I go to search. When you do find the function and you press your tab key, you now read what the function does. Now, what I advise you to do is when you do equals to search and tab, you do control A. So you do control A, that will bring up the dialog box. So let me repeat that. If you know the name of the function, you do equals to search, right? Then you tab, then you do control A. That's if you know the name of the function. Then what happens is these boxes are arguments. So each and every argument, you need to kind of read it and say, hey, okay, what is find text? Oh, well, this is what it says. It says, is the text, find text is the text you want to find. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So I want to find sheet. Let me just type sheet, All right? I've typed sheet. Where, and then within text says, within text is the text which you want to search for find text. Okay. This is where you want to try and find the text. Unfortunately, sometimes the English is not that clear. You need to read and trial and error. So within this, so I'm looking for sheet within that text. So find text within text. If you notice, this is bold and this is bold. This that is not bold means it's optional. The, the argument that isn't bold is optional. So I can ignore the optional one. Sometimes you shouldn't ignore it. So if I click OK, I see an answer, six. What does six mean? It means, well, if you start counting, D, A, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So sheet is the six is six. So if I, if I kind of put two spaces there, guess what? When I enter is now eight. So that is how you use Excel and you should learn a function, at least one function every day. So that's one of the best practices. Another way you can get a function, if you don't know the functions, you come to this button to the top left and say insert function, and then type that sentence, that sentence that describes what you want. I need to search for a text. Okay, that's my, I need to search for a text. Then I click on go, and then Excel tries to look for the answer, but sometimes it doesn't understand what you're saying. So you say, please rephrase your question. Okay, so let me just type search. So if you know the keyword, type the keyword, and if you're lucky, the keyword exists as a function. And then you select the function, you say okay, and it comes all the way up. So that's how you use Excel. And that's how one of the best practices, tip two, learn a function. Go learn about those functions. Very cool tip. Let's jump into tip three. So what's tip?